who went back to work today in Uptown ran into some unexpected detours. Dangerous conditions forced police to close some Uptown Charlotte streets today. East Stonewall Street between South Tryon and South Church was shut down because of ice falling off some of the buildings in town. NBC Charlotte 7 West saw that ice falling firsthand today. He picks up our team coverage tonight at the Chevy Storm Tracker. Evan, how's it looking out there? Well, Bill, the roads actually look really nice. We've been on the roads for much of the day. I'm actually going to get out of the sh car and, and show you what they look like. We've got to credit the DOT crews to, uh, to all the work they've done. But I'll tell you what, we've seen a lot of the snow that's been plowed by the North Carolina Department of Transportation all up on the side here in the University City area. But you can also see this huge stain down here. This is water, all right? It's obviously melting. But with the temperatures expected to drop overnight, this stuff is going to freeze up on the ground, which could make your morning commute very dangerous. Even with nearly three inches of snow, driving conditions in Charlotte could be worse. They seem to be good out there. While the majority of the metro was blanketed by another dusting Monday morning, rising temperatures quickly turned the snow that fell on our roads into puddles. I find they really weren't that bad. Very wet, but thank goodness there was no freezing temperatures. And then the trees started falling at a tremendous clip, forcing road closures on Wendover, Carmel, Colony, Park Road, Ideal Way, and South Boulevard. In total, more than 12 major roads were blocked by trees after falling overnight. The work is in stumping tree removal experts who say they expect more trees to topple. It's mainly your evergreen stuff that's still holding leaves. Uh, see a lot of that breaking, mainly limbs. In Uptown, CMPD closing part of North Tryon and Stonewall Street, which run adjacent to the Duke Energy Building. People reported falling ice from the Queen City skyscraper Monday afternoon. A spokesperson with Wells Fargo who owns the building says no one was injured. Something you definitely do not expect to see whenever you're walking the streets of Uptown. They actually put out scaffolding for people to walk under. And uh, moral of the story here, just keep your head on a swivel and make sure that you plan ahead before you go into work or school tomorrow morning. Reporting live in University, I'm Evan West for NBC Charlotte. Or work from home if you can. Evan, good advice. Thank you.